Hello, it's Andrew Bell, Able Sim, with a final demonstration. This time it's the start to finish relationship, which is quite rare um, in project management, um, but it does have its uses. So let's have a look at how we do that in Microsoft Project and the effect of lead and lag. So I'm opening up a new blank project and I'm changing my tasks to automatically scheduled. I'm going to put in two tasks, task A and task B. I'm going to make them five days so that you can see them better. Uh, I'm going to link them together, first of all, with a finish to start relationship and then double click the arrow to change it to a start to finish relationship. Now, this is going to push the uh, tasks backwards before today's date, and the computer is just checking that I can actually do that. And what this is saying is that um, task A can't start until task B has finished. Uh, confusing because we've got this backwards pointing arrow. I'm now going to take these two tasks. I'm going to copy them and paste them there to show lead and there to show lag. If I double click the arrow, I'm going to put two days of lead time in, which is minus two days of lag. And that puts a further gap between the tasks. I have to do task B before I do task A. And if I double click this arrow, I'm going to put two days of lag in, uh, which means that well, yeah, this starts to get really confusing. You could argue, why don't you do just reverse the names of the tasks that you're doing and then have that arrow pointing from left to right on your Gantt chart. These start to finish relationships are very infrequent in Microsoft Project. And in 20 years, I've only seen one example, and that was that the over, um, transport of goods can't finish until overnight security has started. So there's a quick demonstration of the start to finish relationship type in Microsoft Project.